The insert key occupies a prominent place on most keyboards, but it doesn't do much in Word. You can make it pull its own weight, however, by applying what you discover in this quick tip. The insert key, by default, doesn't really do anything in Word. In order to make it function, you need to decide what you want it to do. You can configure the key so that it inserts text, it is called the insert key after all, or you can make it control over type mode. Let's take a look at both options. For as long as I've used Word, I've used control plus C to copy text and control plus V to paste the copied text somewhere else in the document. Some people might like to use the insert key to do the pasting, however. If you want the insert key to function the same as the control V shortcut, then all you got to do is go over to the file tab of the ribbon, click on options to display the word options dialog box, and then here at the left side, click on advanced. And we're going to scroll down to this area right here where it says cut, copy, and paste. Notice that there's an option down here that says use the insert key for paste. If we go ahead and we select that option and then click on the OK button, we've already made the configuration change to make the insert key function the same as the Control plus V shortcut. For instance, if I go ahead at this point and I select some text right here, then I can press Control C to copy it to the clipboard. Now I can go down to the bottom of the paragraph right here, and if I press on the insert key, it pasted that information at that point in the document. The second way that you can use the insert key is to control what Microsoft refers to as overtype mode. This is an editing mode in which everything you type replaces something else in your document. When overtype mode is active and you type a letter, it replaces the letter to the right of the insertion point. When overtype mode is not active, your text is inserted where the insertion point is located. If you want the insert key to turn overtype mode on and off, then we go back to the same dialog box, the Word Options dialog box that we were at a moment ago. Again, we're going to click on Advanced, and right up here in the Editing Options area, you can see this option here that says, use the insert key to control over type mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And if I scroll down a little bit further, you can see that it automatically turned off the use the insert key for paste option. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on OK right down here. And now the insert key will function as a toggle for over type mode. To see how this works, let's go right back up here into the document. You can see where the insertion point is located. And if I type something in here, let's say I'm going to start typing uh, my name in here, watch what happens to the text to the right of the insertion point. It moves it to the right. That's because we are in what is called insert mode at the time. But I'm gonna go ahead and press the insert key and now we are in what is called overtype mode. And if I type my last name in here, watch what happens to the right of the insertion point. Notice that we are overtyping the text that's in here already. Now that can be a little bit disconcerting to people. So you may want to configure the status bar so that it shows you whether you're in overtype mode or not. You can do that by right clicking on the status bar and then choose the overtype option right here. Now that doesn't turn on overtype mode. What it does is it turns on the display of the status on the uh, status bar. You can see that right down at the bottom it says overtype. That means that we're in overtype mode. If I press the insert key again, you can see that we are now in insert mode and what I type will be inserted normally into the document. Press the insert key again, and I'm back into overtype mode. Now that you know the two ways that you can put your insert key to work, all you need to do is decide how you want it to work, and then configure Word according to your preference. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please click the subscribe button near the bottom right corner of this video. Click the bell, 
and you'll receive notifications of when new videos are added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.